Why is this channel named House of Hacks? We'll find out today. Hi makers, builders, and dirt softwares, Harley here. So why did I name this channel House of Hacks? Well, before I got into video, I had three written blogs. One was a software blog, one was a photography blog, and one was kind of um, a catch-all, more philosophy, religion, that kind of thing. And I found, as I was writing those blogs, that every once in a while I'd have a topic that didn't fit neatly into any one of those categories, and I still wanted to talk about it. So I didn't really have a place to put it. So I th as I was thinking about video, I wanted to take this lesson into consideration. And so I wanted something that was m a little bit more broad-based, something where more things could fit into that topic if I wanted to, to make it fit that way. So a house is a single building, but it has different rooms for different purposes. So this kind of fit in with kind of the broad collection of things that I wanted to have uh, to designate what this channel was about. So why hacks? Well, I consider myself a jack of all trades, master of none. So that kind of fits in with the hack mentality where you kind of work way on something until you get it. And you may not necessarily do it the most efficient way, the most elegant way, but eventually you get the job done in a way that's acceptable. This fits into the old term, the old definition for, ha for hack, where um, one of, the, one of the classic definitions is modify or change something in an extraordinary way, or a clever solution to a turkey problem. And that's kind of the sense of the word hack that I'm wor working with here. Not the new, new sense of the word where it's kind of become people that break into computers. That's not what I'm talking about. That's more, I prefer the word crack, cracker or crack for that kind of activity, um, where you're cracking into computers and breaking through security. That's not what we're talking about. I'm talking about putting things together Maybe not necessarily things that were meant to go together, but putting them together to come up with a solution to a problem. And hacks alliterates nicely with house. So that was a bonus. So that's really where I came up with the channel name. House meaning a collection of things, and hacks meaning putting something together until you make it work. And that's really kind of how I approach most of my creative projects. I'll have an idea, and I'll go in, and I'll just start working away on it until I have a solution that works for me and for my purposes. For the rest of this week, I want to talk about a paragraph that I use frequently when I'm closing my videos. That paragraph goes something along the lines of, I believe everyone has a God-given creative spark. Sometimes this manifests through making things with a technical or mechanical bent to them. Through this channel, I hope to inspire, educate, and encourage these types of makers in their creative endeavors. Usually this involves physical media like wood, metal, electronics, photography, or other similar types of things. If this sounds interesting to you, go ahead and subscribe and I'll see you again in the next video. Thanks for joining me on our creative journey. Now go make something. Perfection's not required, fun is. And that's how I finish quite a few of my videos. For the rest of this week, I wanna go through that kind of line by line, phrase by phrase, and talk about why I chose those phrases for that closing to describe the, the whole purpose of House of Hacks. It's really kind of get, get, do a deep dive into the why of House of Hacks, why I'm doing this channel. So I hope, you, hope that sounds interesting to you. That's going to be the rest of this week. And until next time, go make something. Perfection's not required, fun is.